section D problem 1 here we are going to deal with reference geometries slots etc so let's start let's start sketching on the front plane I'll start with the circle from the origin which is 10 now I'll make a rectangle and I can add the fillets to both the sides which are 12 in radius and I can make these concentric Now the dimensions, this would be 108 and this is 64 now I can add another circle here and this would be equal to this circle so I can give an equal constraint now chamfer on this corner of 18 so select these two sides and the last feature is a line this dimension is given 54 and the angle is given as 35 we can trim these edges this sketch is complete we can extrude the extrusion is 4 mm now we have to create a reference plane for the other feature for this extrusion so let's go to reference plane first reference would be this plane Second reference will be this edge, not the point but the edge. Okay, so yes, we need this plane which is perpendicular and contains this edge. Okay, we can extend this and start sketching on it. Let's make the contour. Now add the dimensions and needs. I can make this tangent. This two. This distance would be four. Then this angle. This angle is given as 112 and this radius is given as 12 this height is 14 so the sketch is done we can extrude the sketch up to this edge let's go to extrude up to vertex and select this vertex this is the preview this is what we want we can hide this plane now the part is complete edit the material the material is copper alloy manganese bronze apply 
and go to evaluate check the mass properties 239.55 let's check with answers 239.55 so this is correct the part is over next part in the next video thank you